What's going on everyone? Mike is back. And yeah, it's time to play some Skyrim. The last time we did the thief quest. And let's do the next one. But man, it's been a long time since I up uploaded a YouTube video. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Ah, that's right. Helga Stage of the Bella. So there's more than one. Jewelry with divine smartonian craftsmanship. Use talent shade to get to Kirava. Fresh meats and produce. Get that before. Let's just save. What do you want? I... I... I don't know what to say. Here. I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I... Well, we both thank you. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. Hmm. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I... things to attend to. Here for a room or something to drink? You want something or not? No, and I never will. Now get out of my... How could you possibly know about... Please, oh, come on. my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. <laughs> Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me.
Shut the fuck up, bitch. No, I'm just a fucking debt collector. Ah. Yeah. husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Hmm. So, can I interest you in it? Eh? So, can I interest you in anything today? Please, I don't have anything to pay. Don't destroy my urn. Oh, my word. I had it at bay. There's no need to do that. Oh, my word. No! I can't believe you did that. You demand payment for protection. Take your coin. Tell Brynjolf to leave us alone. <laughs> I think they got the message. Alright, the last one is I have to steal something, right? Don't hurt me. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. <laughs> I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. <sighs> All right. Easy task is easy. Hate this, it's really hard to find the way in there. Was it in Becker's Raw? Come on. Come on, seriously. Finally, let's go back. Imagine if I would play this on Xbox. On Xbox and I would say Fusroda and he's gonna spell Fusroda. <laughs> oh man. Imagine how many mistakes you can do during a playthrough. Ah, that's 
run and run and run and run and run. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Hey, I should have a coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Yeah. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. <coughs> I think you'll find these quite useful. Uh. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. <laughs> Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well, true? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin. And I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair now, enough. If there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Ooh. Taking care of business. This was an achievement? What the fuck, man? Oh, of course, I have too many stuff with me. It's like always. I have to. I, ne I need to have all those books with me. Ah, Christ. What a drop. I'm gonna drop this shit. Where is he taking me? So nice treasures around here? Nope. There's a barrel. Oh, Counter stealing. Yeah. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Yeah, then hey. then go away. What's the problem, man? Uh, what are you doing? Tro walking around like an idiot. And he's nothing. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna kill you. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. No, we are talking, man. Move your slow ass. I know where you want to go. You want to go th to this guy, right? Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. The 
Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. All right. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. Do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. All right. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I get my cut off the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Oh God! New armor. I know what this going to be. I can't move that anymore. I know that. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The it's catch sketch. is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends hmm. on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. <laughs> and out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard mm. packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is to cross Let her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Well, this sounds nice. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Let's be 
behind me, right? Well then, let's talk with Lex about it. Wax, I'm sorry. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, yeah. I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Alright. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. And I Who knows? Why. Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you curse? want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. Can we you do can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Is this unusual gem worth anything? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Baron Zaya. Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. All right. I think there were 24 in all. Most people 24. Think curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit, and no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. What the fuck? I have only 11. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Hmm. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tenelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, <clears throat> Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. Nice. The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. All right, Best that's of all, good. we have enough gold to throw around so we can start living in the lap of luxury again. I heard you offer an extra I work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal jobs. Tame our burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. Sounds the good. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old fashioned burglary? I'm in. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Steal anything worth talking about? All right, but if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. If you get arrested, it's on your head. Breed 
you'll fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and Yeah yeah, shut the fuck up. Level f the fuck up. Need more stamina. Picking. Come on, I really have to do this. Three, four levels. Oh man, that's going to be hardcore, man. without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Yeah. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, sure. if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild. Look around you. The flat... A few yeah, decades yeah. ago, this place was as busy... Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Cursed, yeah. A curse, what can we do about I'll it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Ugh. Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. That's a good preferred office service. If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of your labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds tough, but she'll catch you a fair deal. I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. Just talk to Vipper. He'll show you around. Oh, will doing extra jobs have to go? Years ago, the guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. Mm. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. <laughs> when things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential... It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing these extra jobs, and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. Uh, what happened to the Grey Fox? Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Riften. But get arrested in Whiterun, and you'll be tossed right into the prisons. 
If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there by doing a unique job for them, we'd be able to have some leverage there too. The only way we hmm. get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. Then they'll contact me and we're off. I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. Personal touch. Break into more your thing. Go talk to Vex. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job right. will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. We we'll like doing a bit of writing. Yeah, sure. Nice. Yeah, this is what you need to know. are on you lad don't disappoint us shall be troubling you oh listen so what can i do for you today remember so, keep it clean we don't eh? want blood on our heads don't look like much you so you're the new recruit us. huh yeah well looks like you and i are gonna have to get very well acquainted nice to meet you i'm the fence down here you come by anything you don't exactly own and i'll pay you some coin for it minus a little slice for the guild of course I can also provide a few supplies okay. useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time and I've seen all types. You can play it tough or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh, too heavy. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Oh God, I have too many stuff with me. Too much stuff with me. Ho 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 ho. Player one. All right. Some more. Emerald, flawless garnets, grand soul gem. Lava's token, oricalcum, soul gems, torchbog in the jar. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 